Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with day six of the 30 day project. I am now a day behind because Design Studio chucked a tantrum last night and would not work. It's an unexpected IT issue. So today I have this um, four inch by four inch acrylic block with these one inch acrylic circles, which I plan on making a tick attack toe game with um, as a present and also put it in this canvas door string bag. So I have actually already gone ahead in the design studio and designed my layout. I apologize for the dodgy cameraing. I was using uh, in my hand instead of a tripod to make it easier. So I have designed a Hulk versus Thor tic-tac-toe and I just basically made my one inch circle so I can use it to uh, design my images which I brought from Etsy which I will put down below to the store. I'm just going ahead and lining it all up, making sure it looks right, and I have enough space for my token. I'm just going to go ahead and prepare my mat. I'm just going to go take the white circles out so it doesn't want to try and cut them, like so. And I will just be using my Explore Air 2 for this one because, as you can tell, I'm at my main computer instead of my laptop. So we're just going to go ahead and prepare our mats and our vinyl. No need to mirror this one as we're using uh, just vinyl. And I am using the outdoor graded vinyl. So I'm going to use fast mode for this one and cut it out super quickly. This one now is my uh, full hand, and I am, sorry, my whole hand, and I'll be very interested to see how well this cuts out, because these are one under one inch in size. And his hand has a lot of little detail in it, so we'll see how it goes when it cuts out. So far it was looking really, really well, not that the camera was picking it up, but it cut really nicely and you can see they're all down there. It needed really well when I pulled out all the non-needed vinyl. So now we just got Thor's hammer. This cut out really, really well, but when I went to weed it, I noticed some of the cuts got caught on the vinyl that weren't needed. And Hulk is basically going to weed it so there is Thor's hand, Hulk hand and Thor's hammer. I apologize guys, I thought I had the video camera rolling while I was doing this, but I basically just peeled the plastic coating off the acrylic block and disc and used um, some transfer tape that is just the Cricut brand, which I have no issues with. I know some people have complained it's horrible, but I really don't have an issue and I use the same transfer tape for this whole project and I do end up keeping it for other projects until it really loses all its stick. Except I can't find the one I started off with so I'm just going to go ahead quickly and cut off a extra piece. And as you can see the cuts came out really really well. So I'm just going to use my scraper to scrape on the vinyl to the transfer tape and then do my best to try and center the image on the disc as well as I can using my little scrapey tool to just make sure the vinyl is adhered to my disc and then peeling it off slowly and just using the little scrapey tool for any bits that might want to pop up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing with Hulk and he decided he didn't want to play nicely so I just got my fingernail and pushed the little bit of vinyl that didn't want to stick onto it onto the transfer vinyl and then just repeated the same steps I did for Thor. And that pretty much all sums up the project for today. I mean this will make a great gift for anyone. You could definitely make it more girly or using you know unicorns and rainbows or horses or even mermaids and seashells. So that's pretty much all today's project. Now I'm just going to go and design the bag that I want to keep it in. I'm going to keep the design pretty simple and just write something like let's play or game on with the word tic-tac-toe on it. Very simple. So I'll just pull in Design Studio in a second and I've just made this square which is 6x6 six six because that's the size of my bag and it just says let's play. I end up having to purchase the Let's Play as it's not part of the Cricut subscription 
and then I just use a font that I found on the Cricut InDesign Studio to cut out the um, tic-tac-toe. So here we are, I've cut it all out and I realize I lost some footage there. So I have my bag and my uh, heat press. After doing this project, I realized that I could have moved my let's play down a little bit. And this is where the issue started. I had a hell of a time getting this transfer vinyl to stick. It just would not stick. Um, it took well over three minutes of constant heat and time to get it to stick. Thankfully, all my other vinyl did not take as long. I ended up turning my temperature up from 260 from 250 and just kept pressing and pressing down and it just did not want to stick in that little bit there. Eventually, I did get it to stick and were able to move on to hear the rest of it. Now, I'm not using any Cricut vinyl. This is just a heat trans vinyl, sorry, from a local supplier. I'm not sure whether I just, there was something I was doing wrong or it was just not a good batch. I just could not get the red to stick. But in the end, we get there and I finish off a hearing the rest of my heat transfer vinyl to my project and as I you can see it's it took a lot of going to get it to stick but overall I think the project turned out quite well and definitely could move the let's play down further on the bag for next time I kept the colors of the bag with the colors of the tic-tac-toe except I used yellow for tic-tac-toe instead of black because I didn't have any black. I must do a order of black and white shortly because they're the two ones that I find myself needing. I'm just going to cover up let's while I hear on play as I was told not to put my heat press on my vinyl from previous iron-ons. I'm not sure why but she so I've just put that down. I have also been told not to put um, heat transfer vinyl on top of each other but I don't know how to slice very well. Sometimes words will slice and sometimes that won't slice in Design Studio. So now I just have to go down and put my tic-tac-toe and we are done. Thankfully the green and the yellow did not take as long to hear down it was pretty simple so maybe the red just didn't want to play nice or it was a not a good batch but the project is finished and that's all for today so until tomorrow thanks for watching bye